In this video, we're going to take an introductory look at solving systems of equations by looking at what exactly we're trying to do when we're asked to solve an equation for x and y. A system of equations is made up of two or more equations that work together as a system, and what we're trying to do is find values for x and y that will make both of these equations true at the same time. So, for example, if we wanted to see if 2, 1 is the solution or the pair of numbers that makes both of these equations true, we can check that by plugging these values into the equations. The important thing is it must work for both equations for this to be a solution to the entire system. If you remember, ordered pairs come in x, y pairs. So let's plug into the first equation and see if 2, 1 works in the first equation. 3x, or 3 times 2, minus y, which is 1, and we want to know if it equals 5. Really quick with order of operations, we know 3 times 2 is 6 minus 1. We want to know if it equals 5, and sure enough, 6 minus 1 does equal 5. It seems to work for the first equation. However, just because it works for the first equation does not mean it's necessarily the system for the the solution for the entire system. To be a solution for the entire system, the pair must also work in the other equation. So let's look at the other equation, x plus y. x is 2, plus y, which is 1, equals 3. Is that true? Well, sure enough, 3 does equal 3, and it checks as well. Because 2, 1 is the pair of numbers that works in both equations, we will say yes, 2, 1 is a solution to the system. As we work at solving these systems of equations, we're going to be looking at problems where we have the system, and we're going to use them together to find that pair of numbers, the only pair of numbers that makes both equations true.